All right, y'all. So for me, today is Sunday, and we've had quite a day since we got home from church. Um, Bubba went and take a nap. He was hungry. I tried to make mac and cheese. I dumped out all the noodles in the sink, and they're currently still there. I sort of left them there and made some peanut butter and jelly, and then I started canning up venison stock. And I pulled out all the bones and the meat and the everything else. I've got venison stock in the canner right now. First time using my 23 quart pressure canner. And uh, I'm pretty happy I could fit 20 jars in that thing. Anyway, so now I'm going through all the bones and picking out all the meat. Um, I did this with the first batch of venison stock as well. Um, I've got fresh clean hands. I just washed my hands. Um, so I'm just going through and I'm picking meat off of these bones because in my mind, I don't see a point in wasting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and can up some shredded venison meat. I've got a bag in the freezer right now from the first batch waiting for me. And uh, yeah, I'm just going through and picking out all the meat. Um, some of this has fatty chunks in it. I'm just probably gonna go ahead and leave kind of the fat on it. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm sure it'll give it flavor once uh, I open up the jar, but I have to pay attention because there's little bones too. Um, but yeah, what gave me the idea to do this is one of the ladies who I consider a mentor when it comes to gardening and especially canning, um, she had once gifted us a, a jar of pulled venison. So I thought, hey, I could do that too. Let me use this meat that's coming right off this bone. Um, so from that batch of bone stock, we also get, hopefully, a couple jars of some pulled venison. So like I said, I'm just going through all the meat that have fell off the bone or I'm picking them out the bone and I've got the trash can right here. So I'm dropping bones in the trash can. I'm not just throwing stuff all over my kitchen floor, which I do that anyway. Not bones or anything, but if I'm wiping off the counter, I'll just scoop it all off onto the floor and then I'll sweep it up. So, but I got the trash can here. to this today or even tomorrow or Tuesday so I'm going to go ahead and put all of this into a Ziploc bag in the freezer as soon as I find some of my grabbers Here we go. tongs I mean picked out all of the bones and the big chunks of vegetables and stuff like that. I'm not worried too much about the small chunks of like bell peppers and celery and onion. Most of the time I put that stuff in almost anything I'm cooking anyhow. Go away little fruit fly. Chew fly don't bother me. morning y'all well it's morning for me um it has been a morning let me tell y'all but right now i've got all the meat all that pulled venison that i uh 
pulled off the bones and stuff from when we made the first batch of venison stock and the second batch of venison stock. Um, I've got all that here. I'm going to put it I'm probably about three, three and a half, just to get this warm back up for, so I can put this into um, wide mouth pint jars. And then I've got the, uh, some venison stock still here. Um, I'll put that in the pint jars with the meat um, and then get that canned up. But right now I just feel like, y'all are a bit crooked. Sorry about that. Um, have fun being crooked. <laughs> but, um, I feel like I need a breather. It has been a crazy morning. I just, oh my gosh. Everyone is bananas this morning. They're all acting bananas. The children, the dogs, they're all psychotic. Um, I don't know what happened, but they just woke up and said, let's be crazy. Declan's being crazy. I mean, he's got this, kid, this living room just, whoo. I see four pairs of underwear on the floor right now and I, I don't know he's only got one butt why is there four pairs of underwear all over the floor but the dog is messing with the cat the cat's messing with the dog then the cat wants to act like she's a victim and oh my gosh it's just been psychotic crazy morning and then we had to rush to the post office this morning and overnight to like right when they open overnight um some stuff that my mom forgot for one of her transports um she wanted to make sure I did that right when they opened so that I can have a tracking number that she can give um, her client. Um, but no, we're not overnighting pet animals. That's what mom does, but it's just paperwork. But it's just, it's been morning and I just wanna, uh, but, so I've banished everybody. I've banished the child to his room. I turned on the show. I banished the dog to his crate. And then the cat is okay as long as there's nobody in the room. She's totally fine. She's messing with whatever. But I just, it's been a morning. I feel frazzled. Um, and I banish everyone so I can have a breather. I can whoosah all that psychotic behavior. Whew. But, so like I said, we're going to get this warmed up. We're going to get it canned up. My first time canning pulled venison, um, so I will see y'all in a bit after I've decrazied myself. Hey, go watch your show, please. Well, it's still playing. Go watch it. Hey, seriously. Hey, Declan, look at mommy. Mommy needs a break right now. Please go watch your show. Okay. Yes. Thank you. We have done so well about lessening screen time, but sometimes mama just needs a break. So, see y'all in a minute when this is all warmed up and ready to be canned up. All right, so now I feel defrazzled or less frazzled, I don't know. <sighs> I just need to take a break for a minute. I got the coffee in the microwave reheating for like the fourth or fifth time. Um, Anyone else do that? Y'all reheat your coffee a bunch? I do. I started doing that when I had a child. Oh, coffee's done. And this is pretty much all thawed out and warmed up. So I do believe I'm going to get my jars up and ready. Oh, there's a chunk of it there. Let's see if we can't break that apart. That's still slightly cold in the middle. Okay, now it's breaking up the part. So we'll just scoot that back to the bottom and let that continue. Wait, I wish all my wooden utensils were clean, but I'll be honest, I just don't feel like doing dishes right now. All right, so I'm gonna get my coffee. Like I said, I don't feel so frazzled anymore, but I feel, I feel something. I, I don't know how to explain it. I, oh, I just dribbled coffee. What? What? You're fine. Oh, I, I never know how to explain how exactly I'm feeling, but, uh, 
I feel happy. I just I feel something else. I don't know. You'll have the mood of the morning sets the mood of the day. It's kind of those deals right now is what I'm feeling like. So I'm going to get this cleaned up. We're going to bring the jars over here. We're going to put them in the jars and I'll be back. this making more than 10 jars I don't even know how much I'll make but I'm not gonna pack this in tightly I'm gonna just loosely pack it I'm not sure if this will still come out like pulled venison, I mean, I, I imagine it would, or if it'll come out more like ground beef. Um, oh, that's, I mean, it's pulled now, so I can't imagine why it wouldn't, but I'm of average intelligence, so there's a ton that I don't know. <laughs> but I was watching one of Sutton's Day's videos after finding out about her after, uh, like last week when there was a confusion with the word January, which by the way, I don't think the word January is like some sort of copyrighted trademarked phrase, but using January in the uh, video title or video description can confuse uh, some of the viewers who are wanting to win prizes uh, from Sutton's Day's sponsored January collaboration. There's like a a bunch of prizes up for grabs but you have to watch all the videos of the collaboration and like or comment on them and then um you know you'll be eligible to win uh these prizes um so when a bunch of other youtube channels use the word canuary in their video descriptions or uh their video titles um then it confuses the viewers and they may end up watching and commenting on a wrong video that doesn't get them eligible to win those prizes. There's like a couple pressure canners up for grabs, a bunch of uh, really high dollar um, gift cards, uh, and some other stuff I can't remember. But, um, oh, and I think the whole, the whole thing is sponsored by this company called Four Days. No, Four Jars. Uh, and Sutton Days has been organizing this, I think, for five or six years now. And um, so it's it's a big thing that her viewers and viewers of uh, other channels, you know, like regular viewers that know about it, you know, they really look forward to it. And so when other channels who are not in the collaboration, you know, have the word January in their description or uh, title, it confuses the viewers. So I don't think it's copyrighted or anything. Nobody was mean to me at all about it. Sutton Days was actually super nice, you know. When I uh, finally checked out her channel and uh, contacted her, she was super nice about it. Um, totally understood that it was just a mistake. But... <laughs> A lot of people, you know, say that, oh, they're just doing it for uh, views and likes and comments and stuff. And I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, as content creators, we want to get the most views and likes that we can. But if I was a viewer and I didn't have my own channel and I was trying to win this stuff, I'd be super mad if I allowed myself to get confused by watching someone's channel who wasn't a part of it or someone's video who wasn't a part of it. So, in my videos, I'm still kind of doing my own January January, but I'm not going to list it in my title or in my description or anything like that. So, thank you everybody for all the love that y'all have shared with me. Um, I try to do the right thing. I try to see stuff from both sides of the table. And, uh, you know, that's just me. So, I totally understand if uh, the channels in that sponsored collaborator, 
collaborate collaboration uh you know they wouldn't want other channels ruining prize chances for their viewers so i totally get that it don't bother me none you know that i can't use canuary in a title or description or whatever because i'm still going to say it but i will say i'm not part of that sponsored collaboration and uh i do hope that uh you know The viewers who win these prizes are super happy and get really excited and use those prizes to learn how to preserve up some food. Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, and I've spilled a bunch. And what I've spilled here on the stove, I'll be honest, I'm just pick it right on up and stick it in this last jar. Some of these jars, did I overstuff these? Like, did I push them down too much? I don't think so. I think we're in the good. How many jars do I get? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I got nine. Works for me. Well, this one's like a little happy jar. Do I have any more meat here? No, it was just this, wasn't it? All right. Well, like I said, I'll be putting the stock in there too, so. You know what? Let me try this. Yes. Alrighty, for my view then. So, like I said, I'm gonna use up some of this chicken, no, medicine stock. I'll put it in there, and then what's left, I'm still gonna can up as medicine stock. So, that being said, um, yeah. As I'm editing, I realized, you know, kind of flickered, I forgot to do bubble again. I just, I really have to get better at paying attention and remembering things. And I think I'm going to do what a couple of y'all suggested, which is have something that's visible whenever I'm canning. Um, just kind of an info sheet and a reminder sheet, you know, what am I canning for? Uh, for what PSI, for how long, and then just list up all the steps that need to happen so I don't forget because any of my regulars who have been with me a while, y'all know I have a terrible memory. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to just make a little reminder checklist that will be visible whenever I'm canning. Both of us eight years old. Let's try this again. We were together that made it all right. Like my own sister. Our souls we together. Beaded bracelets I won't forget. Friends forever. Like my own sister. Our souls we together. So I've got all of this cut up stew meat from the deer all thawed out. I've got seven jars here, seven quart jars, um, that I'm going to use. They're wide mouth. I'm going to use them to can up this stew meat. Um, I probably even should have used quart jars when I uh, canned up that um, uh, pulled meat um, because we are a family of three, but... Emmanuel's got a large appetite. He eats for like two people. So it's pretty much like feeding a family of four. So I probably should have even canned that up in um, quart sized jars, but it'll be all right. It is whatever. But the stew meat, I will definitely can up in quart sized jars because 
usually when I make a stew and I use meat, you know, I like it to be heavy on the meat. So we're going to do it in quart size jars here. I've just washed my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, can it up like this. I googled if I should rinse off this meat before I can it or if I should just leave it as is and most everything said you can actually do more harm than good by rinsing it off. Um, so I'm going to just take it and can it just like this. Now I'm not going to cook it or add any liquid because I've learned that um you know this is already going to create its own liquid so you don't want to add any any more i might be able to get one whole bag per jar see but this is the thing that i was confused on you know since i've thought it there's still some some blood in it and stuff so hopefully that'll be okay but like i said i, I saw more things that said um Rinsing it off can do more harm than good, so. I'm gonna just do this. So I've been, well, I feel like I've been canning all day, um, whether it be labeling jars, cleaning jars, packing jars, loading jars in the um, pressure canner, pulling jars out, standing around waiting for the pressure canner to uh, get to the right pressure or keep an eye on it because it's my finicky electric stove. Um, one thing I am noticing though too, if I am just using my second pressure canner, uh, just in constant rotation, if I don't have double stacks of pints, it's harder for me to keep that stable. I really have to babysit that and watch my gauge. Um, and I am more of a visual person, so the gauge is working for me right now. I'm just not a huge fan of my stove right now, but a lot of people have recommended um, like the Jiggler and you have to listen for it or something. Um, but I'm, I'm very much a visual person. Uh, so my gauge pressure canners work good for me now. Um, maybe in the future I'll try a, a Jiggler can, canner. Sorry y'all, I'm super tired. Um, so we'll just have to see. But for now I've got my two canners and they're working all right for me. But uh, like I said, I feel like I've been canning all day. Um, we got... The pulled meat done it looks pretty good we got the uh, venison stock or the deer stock um, and I'm not going to touch these because I just pulled them out but then we got the uh, stew meat so today just seemed to be a take care of all the deer stuff today we got the deer meat the deer stock the stew meat that's deer and so uh, pretty soon you'll hopefully get to see the um, how we process the deer and stuff like that. Uh, I am working on that video. We still have to grind up the meat. Um, gotta get a free weekend, let that 
meat for grind, thaw out, borrow a grinder from my parents and grind up the deer meat that's meant for grind. So hopefully y'all will get to see that this uh, soon. But uh, with how this morning went and how today went, it, it calmed down a little bit. But this morning, everyone was bananas. The, the child, the animals, they were crazy. Um, it calmed down a little bit. But I guess because I've been so busy today, I still just feel frazzled. So I'm happy I'm done. I don't have to babysit the canner or watch the canner or anything like that. So I'm going to hang up my apron for the evening. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to work on some more crochet. And uh, me and Emmanuel are probably going to watch some YouTube together. Um, I did want to thank y'all if I haven't done so already. Thank y'all for all of your kind words, for all of your support. Um, Sutton Days had, you know, I contacted her. She was super nice about everything. I got some clarification. I can totally understand why uh, they might not want other people to use January in their uh, video title or description because it confuses viewers who are trying to win prizes from the sponsorship. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I don't feel sad about my decision, but I'm not going to add January to my title or description. But I will say it in my videos. I'm doing my own little January, January. I'm clearing out space in my freezer, making room for the hog that's going to be butchered at the end of this month. Uh, and uh, But I am not a part of the big sponsorship, but I'm doing my own January, January, I guess. Um, Canning up a lot of things, learning, I learned through doing, and right now I'm doing a lot of canning. Um, so like I said, I'm tired, I'm going to go sit down, I'm going to hang up my apron, and I pray that y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next one.